Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Um, today is February 13th, which was supposed to be my surgery date. Um, so I just wanted to give everybody um, a little update so you know no one think, thinks I died on the operating table or anything like that. Um, yesterday afternoon, I got a call from the PA at my surgeon's office and she said, you know, after we triple checked everything again, we realized that we really don't want to do the surgery tomorrow. Um, we feel like it hasn't been enough time since your last chemo treatment and um, the doctor would like it to be longer since you've had Avastin, since that um, gets in the way of wound healing. So she said, we'd just rather be on the safe side with everything and postpone the surgery. So I was very disappointed, needless to say, because I had, you know, even though I was excited about having the surgery and I know it's great, you know, you kind of have to mentally prepare and kind of get yourself ready to go through everything that you know you're going to have to go through, especially with recovery. So I was a little disappointed that I wasn't happen, that it wasn't going to happen, but I'm looking at it like, you know, it just was not meant to happen. It wasn't meant to be on that day and, or today. So I'm going to be okay with that. And, um, it should, it's only going to be another couple of weeks anyway. Um, but that's okay. So I'm going to go back to work next week and have fun with students and, you know, get myself in a good headspace again and all that kind of stuff. I am sure that I'm going to have to go back and do some pre-surgery things yet again. I know that my doctor loves to have like fresh blood samples on hand. So I'm sure I'm going to have to give my 11 vials of blood yet again. Um, but that's okay. I mean, you know, it is what it is. I think once you've kind of gotten into the cancer realm. You're used to being poked and prodded and stuck, so it is what it is. I was kind of surprised. I did pre-surgery um, a little bit differently with this liver surgeon. Um, he had me actually go to, instead of, normally I've had like a pre-surgery over the phone where you talk about anesthesia to the person over the phone. Um, but this time I had to go in for not only blood work, but I had to talk to um, an actual like anesthesiologist person there at the hospital and tell them all about anything that I had had before. And I think it might be because not only were they putting me under, but I was also going to have an epidural for, for pain, um, which I was not aware of. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I've heard that that works really well, and I'm kind of excited to do that instead of the narcotics, because it seems like whenever I was in for my colon surgery, you know, I just had like, I don't know, some some type of hydro something or other, you know, it's an opiate, um, and you get to press the little pain button yourself, and of course you can't do an overdose, they would never allow that, and you can, you know, press it every so often, but it seemed like, especially in the beginning, if I pressed it, um, yes, it relieved me of pain, but generally I was like asleep within two minutes after doing it. So I think it's going to be nice to have it as an epidural and maybe it won't make me go to sleep so much. So I think that might be interesting to have. I'm not looking forward to the stick in the burn. Ladies, you know what I mean? If you've had children and had an epidural, and they always say, all right, here's the stick in the burn. And I think that's the worst part. But not that I'd want to feel the epidural needle because that thing's huge. So I think right now that's the part of the surgery I don't want to really think about so much is the stick in the burn of the epidural. But um, so I had to do that for pre-surgery. I also had to talk to a dietitian um, there in the office. And I had two different nurse visits as well. So it was a lot more pre-surgery appointments. I mean, I was there at the doctor's office and upstairs with the hospital pre-surgery a good four and a half hours, I would say, is how long all of those different appointments took. Um, so it was pretty long. But it's done, and I guess I'll have to go back at least for the blood work again. Um, a little later to the time. So that's my update. Today I was supposed to be 
up and recovering from my surgery, but it was not to be. So we'll see what comes. Hopefully it should be late February or the first week in March, they said. So just a few more weeks to wait and I'm just going to think it was for the best. So everybody stay strong, be positive. Don't let life get you down. It'll be okay. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.